take one sorry zero take one r take two n take three i take four sir okay what is this? here zero one to three four called as uh, character java character numbers sir it Those takes are called as zero index. to index s yes, okay that is called sorry, index sir. Yes. Okay, index. So always you need to remember one thing. For this particular car, index I start from zero. Zero. So now if I given six, what it will print to me? Six. Six means n, sir. Sorry, sorry, sir. G, sir. G, sir. Hello. So if I given seven, what it will print to me? Seven error, sir. What error it will give it to me? Sir, no. sir, okay. can you explain in Telugu, sir? Yeah, please go ahead. Sir, here only see, uh, we can give seven. Then uh, it is here only six, sir. Zero to six numbers is available, sir. There is no seven number, so it show error, sir. Hello, index numbers. Sir. Hello. I think I'm on mute and I'm speaking. So always you need to remember. So you need to you shouldn't say that number. That's an index. Ah, so yes. the index okay. of sorry, this particular sorry. string is seven. Seven. It, sir. it is printing beyond seven. What it will print to me? What is the error message you'll get? Adima. What error message it would use to me if I uh, print seven? Maybe null, sir, or it does not exist. I'm not sure, sir. We know. So minus one. It seems like minus one. Pranta. The seven carat is the seven carat is not there. Change that one and then print it. Sir, it print white space, sir, that's all. The only space it won't show. show. So what you need to do is this. Always you need to see this one. If it is running in the for loop, it will give you a different error message. If you are running in this indexing, actually this indexing concept will be much more in your next steps. So when you go for the collections, I'm sorry, I have some throat infection. <clears throat> so I might a uh, uh, little bit uh, sound harsh for today. So please adjust with that. And when you go for the collections, so at that point of time, the collections you have array list, linked list. So these all things would be there. At that point of time, this index may vary. So you need to know if you're getting the error message from which we are getting this particular error message. Is it throwing it from the loops or is it throwing it from the uh, from this particular string methods, or is it throwing from the collections? You should be able to differentiate. See now, you you went for it. You went to see a doctor, and then you said that I'm not feeling well. Then doctor happened. What he will ask you? Hey, what it happened for you? You should say the reason. Right? I'm feeling with a headache or severe migraine or I have uh, knee pain. So or whatever the you have the problem. So if you say the problem according to the problem, the doctor will give you the medication see if you're saying that i have um, a severe headache or severe migraine he shouldn't give a, a, a for a knee problem or something else problems uh, medicine for you right what it required for you that he need to give it to you the same pattern so you need to know from where you are getting these particular issues see the most important thing is writing code is not a big deal but after writing the code if you wanted to debug your code and fix the things from your thing. Fix the, the problem statement from the uh, uh, whatever the problems you faced. So that is most important. So debugging skills, uh, debugging skills is the most important thing. Many of the companies, they would be having a separate round for debugging. If you if you're going for a debugging round, so that would be a pure technical round. Pure technical. Okay. okay. Now change now, that one with the seven and then see it. Excuse the program. Okay. 
it is showing as index out of bound see now what is that error message so now it was very clearly explaining it it right index yes. out of range out of range see now the index it is going out of range actually you will be getting this most things in the array so now array index out of range so these are the most frequent errors we will be finding but here it is string index out of range arrays are different strings are different right so now here in the strings you are finding this particular out of range so now it was saying that you you read it so this is a string index out of range index out of range means so but was here the range is 6 but it is coming as 7 so that is the reason it was printing that and you can see that this is called stack trace stack trace trace traces means by following this particular traces you will be reaching to your goal right how, this is how they will give it to you so where exactly <coughs> where exactly you are getting this particular error you will be seeing that particular line number accurately you see here the line number 8 so the, the last comment you see it in the main method you are getting in the 8 now from why you got this one is why is strings dot java so this is what the package in this particular package you got this particular error message this is what the error you will getting it so during the debugging so during the debugging so i'll so, be explaining about this particular traces and then explanation of this particular errors and exceptions will be discussed over there okay so you no need to worry about that one so let's uh, so now you need to know that so whenever there is a range out of this particular index then always you'll be getting this and if it is a string you'll be getting the string index out of range when we go for arrays we have the topic right so there when we are discussing we'll be seeing this particular out of range uh, array uh, index out of range also will be seen there okay now next we see that okay so chitra leka so now we have been given this one now what it would be printed for this now what is the output of line number uh, 13 divya we get a uh, chitra lake with a space in it how many spaces will get it one space are you sure yes sir yes sir okay copy the line number 13 and then paste again and uh, in the next line uh, giriya okay one minute sorry copy the same line line number no, 13 copy hello ah now you remove that particular double quotes and just keep that plus plus double quotes plus is there right remove that ah okay yes, sir hmm. okay now what it will print in line number 13 what it will print in line number 14 sir in 13 chitra okay. space lake us uh, pranta tell me uh in line number 13 sir it will print chitra space uh, lekha and line number for line number 14 it will uh, print chitra lekha no space <coughs> is it the same answer everyone or any no, other answers sir uh, first they will print chitra chitra after that they have the space and you need to give me the proper answer what it print for 13 what it will print for 14 for 13 chitra space again space again space and lekha and in the second one uh, chitra uh, one uh, chitra space and uh, space lekha only two spaces in the 14th line sir and in the 13th line okay any any other answer sir in the 14th line we need to use the concat method then only we can 
get the output. So you mean to say that uh, four, 14th line will not print me? Yes, sir. Any other answers? For it. Any other answers? Execute the program. Okay. What's the shortcut key? Run, sir. Control, uh, F11. control F11, sir. Control F11. Give the control F11. See, you need to practice. Okay, don't always go for that button. So give control F11. Control F11. Sorry. First, you remove seven in the place of seven character. Seven. Okay, one minute. All this, how you need to know that what is the latest output is, you can see the date and time over in the console. You are seeing it, right? C program files JDK. Yes. So, August 5th, date and time with exact minutes. So, they yes, will be getting it that complete uh, this one. What is this PID? What? Process ID. So, this is process ID. Where you can see this particular process ID is. Uh, Okay, stop sharing the screen. Uh, let's okay, send this one from my system. Okay, sir. Thank you. Sir. You are able to see this okay. screen, right? <coughs> so if you see, if you see here, in okay. So how we are getting this? Giving the right click on the taskbar. So this is what our taskbar, right? So give a right click on the taskbar. Okay. And here you'll be seeing this one. So in this particular things, you'll be seeing that what are the processes it is running. Okay. So now what are the processes and how much CPU memory it is occupying for this one? And here you can you, you can see this particular utilization of your CPU and memory. So for an example, now if I'm opening, you're seeing it, right? It is normal flat. You see. Immediately it will spike up because I started a new process. So every process will have a process ID. You see it, right? If continuously, if I open three, four windows, it will go to the peak. So now, <clears throat> if you go here, Actually speaking, so I have I means currently working with uh, Python on uh, these things. So we have uh, uh, shuffling here and there. So probably you will be having uh, more utilization. So I have been closed already. Here you can see that PID. You are seeing it, right? By default, every application, so, you know, for an Eclipse, this is what the PID. Why we need to worry about these things all? So now I opened all these particular things browser in the browser each and everything it has been open with the each pid everything whatever the task you do it in your system so every system will have the pid now for that particular eclipse when you're running in the console so that is what the pid information process id so this process is running how much memory it will be occupying and how much cpu it will be occupying everything would we can see on it see now how much memory we have been allocated you, you probably you know you will not understand this one at this point of time but uh, who are working currently they might understand this what is this particular thing is if you are executing more number of programs so then the execution will get failed why because they will not have enough space for java to run or eclipse to run so not uh, java eclipse to run now what you need to do is you need to come and see here the process id and increase this particular process id space <clears throat> So when you increase this particular process ID, then it would be e I mean, then you will have the that particular failures would be removed. Off. Unknowingly, this would be failed. So these all things are really very important. That is where that particular process ID will be coming into the picture. Yeah, Gurja, share the screen. Sir, how to increase process ID memory I mean, space? Sir. For see now, how to increase process ID is not the thing. How to increase the space for Eclipse? That is what your your question should be. Okay, process ID is just an ID. It is given for any particular uh, application. 
by default. Now, what is the option for the eclipses? You can increase the memory allocation for this. So where we can uh, increase the memory allocation for this one is, so there would be a path. Eiji, you remember that? Where is that particular path? Uh, then sir, ID but is proportional to the space. No, in the Eclipse folder, I'll just hold on. Do Eclipse folder config file. I will be having the configuration file. Uh, admin Eclipse folder and uh, in this particular Eclipse folder configuration file. Hmm. This is what you need to do. You see it, right? XMS values. Now it is 512. Now, if I wanted to increase this one, what I need to do? I need to increase this. One second. This need to be increased for 1024. This is how you need to increase this. Okay. <clears throat> so this is how you'll be increasing this particular uh, value. So in the Eclipse folder, you will come here and then you will save it. So now what it was trying, what we are trying to say is, whenever I'm opening the Eclipse, you should occupy one minute because mine is a 16 GB RAM. So out of 16 GB RAM, one GB should be dedicated for the Eclipse so that it have enough space to execution. But if I'm executing more, for example, if I'm executing more than 100 test cases, 200 test cases, then I need to increase my Eclipse to, so now it is 1024, right? Now next increment to what? Next increment to what? 2048. 2048. So now next increment uh, next increment to what? 4096. So that is how you need to increase for this one. So this is the XMS value. And this is a most frequently asked question. For example, uh, how the question would be. Okay, the real time question. I'm executing one particular test case. It is executing 100% rage right. When I have written this, means I'm executing the same test cases for the next 100 times. 50 times it executed and passed. Next 50 times it was getting failed. What would be the reason of failures? So you'll start to do the debugging. The first reason of failure, what it will happen is when you run the same test case for 50 times, it will increase your CPU and memory. So when it is increasing the CPU and memory, the memory allocated for Eclipse is less. So because of this one, this is a one of the factor to fail. I'm not saying this. This is the only reason to fail. This is a one of the factor to get failed. Then what I need to do, I need to come to back to the Eclipse. And in the Eclipse, I need to increase the RAM space for the this one. So that the same test case can run for 100 times and it will pass. So this is the first step of debugging, which we need to do it when something is getting failed. OK? Sir, it so is here is a for word. any other browser also, sir. If anything is uh, not fitting, See, that not depends upon the, the browser or anything, uh, Dwarka. It will okay. not depend upon the, the browser. You take anything, okay. any. See now, Java is not only used for the automation, right? For not only the browser, right? You are developing an application, a desktop application, a gaming application, web applications, mobile applications, anything. So if some execution is getting randomly failed, because now you may not get uh, understand this one, because we have the concept of GC. GC is nothing but garbage collector, object creation. Why, what is the purpose of GC? How GC will clear this particular CPU and memory? So these all things also will be part of our next journey. So there you can understand for this. But as of now, you need to understand that what is process IDs and what is the prominence of the process ID? Because just I have been seen in that date time PID. So that's what I just wanted to explain you. Yes. Okay, so come back. Uh, yeah, Girija, share the screen back. So just to, I need that execution result and then I'll shift. Back okay, sir, one minute. Is it visible, sir? Hmm. No, loading. Hmm. Execute this one. Did you execute it? Yes, sir. Hmm. What is output? Chitra Lake, sir. Without okay. space.
So what is the difference? So, is the difference? so, so when we have been given this one, so this is how it would be printed for us. If I wanted to have the space itself, what the people will try to do is, in 11th, we have Leka, right? Give a space uh, there in front of double quotes and between the Leka. L and double quotes is there, right? Yes, sir. That's it. Now you execute the program. So then you'll get the double space. So one space and if you give another space, then it will be giving a double space there. Re-execute yes, it. Sir. So now that's a double yes, space. Sir. And this is yes, a single sir. space. So single space is four char. So four usually uh, tab means eight characters. Space means uh, I'll just check and then let you know. Two or four, I don't remember exactly. So that would be the character space. Okay, stop sharing uh, this one. So okay. Durga, share the screen. <clears throat> Share the screen, Durga. Yes, sir. I'm sharing it, sir. So can you see my screen? Mm. Yes. Uh, I'm this seeing is... this one. So the string methods, what you have been used, I'm just trying to see on this one. Yes, sir. You're showing me the typecasting. So this mm. is a string method, sir. Mm. Mm. So two upper, two lower. What it will do, Shushma? So now the, the line number 37, line number 38. Can you explain this? Yes, sir. Two upper case means uh, like it prints the upper case uh, letters. And lowercase means it prints like lowercase. Like if you take hello world in uppercase, uh, everything, all the hello and world will be printed in the uppercase. And lowercase, everything will be printed in the lowercase letters. What is uppercase means? Capitals, A, B, C. All caps. All caps yeah. and all smalls. Yes. Now, can you explain me uh, the line number 46 and tell 46. me the output of it? Yes, sir. Four, sir. Hmm. So, index what is from zero? Huh. Index starts from. Sorry, sir. Uh, you're saying that index starts from zero. Yes. Uh, then, if it is, uh, then what is output you will be expecting there? Four, sir. Uh, three, sir. Uh, then you're saying four, which is correct. Three or four? Three, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir, I'm sure. Durga, what is the answer for this? Uh, sir, uh, it sir. is the count of the letters. So it will be four because it is one, two. It is a length which starts from one. Index starts from zero, but length starts from one. So it's one, two, three, four. So the answer will be four. That is the answer, Sushma. It will not start from zero. This because this is not the index. Okay, let me see because we will print and then see it. Execute the program and see it. Yes, sir. Oh, already it is executed and it is four. Yes. <clears throat> so this is what see now. This would be the smallest mistakes which will be doing it. You might think that hey, this is a very simple thing, right? Why, why we need to worry about it? One yes, simple sir. logic. One simple logic. Okay, you will you will lose some millions of dollars of rupees. Yes, millions sir. of dollars with a simple if one zeros or two three zeros. See, be, I mean, actually, before a whole number, you need to keep a zero, but after the whole number, if you are keeping three four zeros, the value of that is completely changed. So, with a simple logic, one simple logic mistake it will yield a lot of big problems. So you have to be very much cautious in this. Okay, go for the index of. What is index in this particular case? Uh, 
So now, sir, what, this... what is our answer? Uh, can you explain the statement number forty-nine? Yes, sir. Uh, this this locates the uh, that like it locates the string. It searches the given string into the statement that we have uh, passed in the string. Uh, for example, if if I give this as a parameter, uh, I have given Kate as a parameter C A T E. So this Kate. it will look for the index of this kate like the starting letter is c so in my this line which is above it will start locating from the index where this c uh, alphabet is there so if i started from here no, it is no, explain me what is first of all what is output for this this is output for 7 this is this is the output for 7 me what is output for this one so the line number 49 what is output for this oh uh, sir uh, p stands for 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 sir uh can you uh, keep the crusher and show me how it comes nine so this is p stands for 0 l uh, l is are you can just just now uh, yes you now you can use the arrow mark Zero. Yeah. Next. Zero. One. one two. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. This is nine. C stands for nine. Index of nine. See, always. So that is the remember, index. Uh, the most important thing which I wanted to explain here in the statement is space is also would be counted. It's not that if the space is not would be or uh, it is not there. It right? only characters we need to count. No. because for yes, machine sir. whether it is a space whether it is a character doesn't it matter for it it occupies such space yes sir that See, is now, an you, yes sir yeah so for an example now you you take in a three bedroom house but you not use one bedroom but you will pay the rent for that complete house right the same way it will occupy the complete space even yes, for sir. a space also it should be counted and when you using this particular index of index of will gives you the if you have for an example now kate means for an example kate where locate occurs even you give complete statement will this particular output will change so uh, copy from uh, kate to the uh, occurs uh, uh, exclamation mark locate where ah uh, yes yes you want me to give a space exactly from k to occur you copy that and then paste it once again into the string hmm. now you tell is me will the output sir? will yeah this is this is what i'm asking now tell me um swapna will the output will change no sir so, sorry sir yes sir just a minute sir string so k we are look at occurs uh yes sir i think it will change 49 line only sir i'm asking you 49 line ah uh, no sir it it won't change why because states starts from the same position 9 no it won't change any other answers any other answers it's good the program Sir, you have passed it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please. Excuse the program. Sir, I did. Okay. So now, still you see it. It is the answer nine. See, whatever yes, the string may change, but the starting of that one will never change. Now you remove that case. Just start from there. Now, what would be the output of this? Fourteen, sir. Kate? Absolutely. Yes, sir. I did it. That's it. So always remember, index of will gives you the starting of that. But whatever its string, it doesn't really care. So it only the the purpose of that method is exactly where it is getting started. That index only it will give to you. And mark my word, if you wanted to write any particular logics. strings would be the first thing which it can help you that's the reason in interviews most of your questions when they wanted to ask you a live demonstration or the live explanation they will ask you to play around with the strings 
if you understand strings well then you can understand anything yes sir and trim what is this particular trim uma maheshwari sir it removes the space sir be specific uma <coughs> space means what it will remove the space from front or remove from the back or where it will, it will can remove in the middle i think front sir sirisha sir it it removes from front and back also sir okay so uh, durga add that somia uh, and any, any other word word okay sir any other word hmm. so, so you want me to run it again yeah no 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 hold on if okay, i use trim must give the space in the last okay sir okay if i use the trim what it will try to do it will remove front or it will remove back or it will remove the pre and post and in the middle also what it will happen okay i'll ask so the question you just think about it i'm asking sai suman what it will happen Sai Sun, you there? Kirti? Sir, it removes front and back spaces, sir. Will it not remove the middle space? So, what are the spaces in that uh, one? Reshma, Reshma, you there or not? Give some answer for me. It removes the white space, sir. Front to back. Will it not remove in the middle? I uh, will remove, sir. Chaitanya, sir, I think front and back, sir. Meena, Meena Anas, you there? Sir, if you no in. any other answers so no can problem. i go ahead uh, it will remove from the white spaces from the front and back but not from the middle like the space between somia and dashi uh, dashi kacharya it won't remove if i wanted to remove only uh, the uh, uh, the space from the front what i need to do i wanted to have it in the uh, in the post but not in the pre then what i need to do that i don't know sir i know the trim methods methodology only anyone else if i wanted to remove the pre what i need what method i need to use and post what method i need to use left trim and uh, right there is no left trim it is l trim l trim and r trim yes see always you need to remember so this because with this logic we will work many a times so trim will remove these spaces from this side and this side see now for example now we'll go and say that hey trim so what it will do it will cut whatever the extra things are there the same thing here the it will trim the white spaces it will remove 
in the pre and the post means in the front and back it will remove that particular white spaces but not in the middle if you wanted to remove in the middle then i wanted only now i wanted to print this one as somia diksha chari so how i need to print this i need to remove this one all the white spaces you need to be removed anyone can say this from the team someone is raising the hand whether i need to understand that they know the answer okay go ahead ramya say me if i wanted to remove the middle space what is the logic i need to use it here we can use split method here uh, split method between in, oh, into that uh, your name is ramya Ramya, are you there? Yes, sir. Yeah. Go ahead. Ramya, you know the answer or no? Yeah, actually, I do most of this. Middle space, most of it. Okay. Anyone else? They can raise their hand. Uh, we can use split method, sir, with uh, with the white spaces, and we can uh, remove the white space from double inverted comma, and then we can store in the uh, di different uh, string. Sir, Somia is there. Then uh, we can so split into. Uh, and uh, how you will be having means uh, uh, how you'll have the complete name then. is already we have been discussed the same things just before see the answer for this one is splitting <coughs> we <coughs> so we need to split this split on what split on white split on this one index 1 it stores somia index 2 it shows it stores the diksha chari because it is splitted by means there is a direct split method in the strings so with that particular thing it will be splitted then i wanted to join it i'll use plus concatenate with the concatenation i can have this right yes <coughs> i'll be getting that okay fine so bhavishyati mahesh share the screen Thank you, sir. Thank you. But I didn't see in all the methods which it is there in that we implemented. And is it visible? Yes. Okay. Explain me the line number eight. Line number with the differences uh, character in line number ten we given Mahesh as a split end, and line number eight gives as a Mahesh without space in commas. See, I'm asking you to explain means LHS RHS. In RHS, I have new and string and CH. Explain me those three terms. What is new? What is string? What is ch? Ch means character. Okay, Pranta. Yes, sir. Explain me the statement number eight. Uh, here, sir, uh, in a line number eight, string is the first string is the class num uh, class name, and the str is the variable name. New is a uh, uh, new is like a, a keyword to use a, a memory allocation for the object, and uh, string uh, is the constructor name, and ch ch is the carry. Uh, 
sorry char, uh, character R ini arti what he said is right uh, no sir actually we use new keyword uh, to create an object of a particular class so object is created when a class is uh, in, i mean to instantiate Where is the object in that statement um a string is a class sir. so yes that is there is no object i guess sir. okay anyone else so the object is string uh, that open brace uh, CH close brace that is an object. Sir, here is the new, new keyword is new is the keyword, sir. That is the object. Sir, here the new keyword is used to um, for memory allocation, dynamic memory allocation in the heap memory, sir. Outside the pool, outside the string pool, and in, inside the heap memory. That is why the new keyword is used here. Sir, here uh, str is the object, sir. I was really surprised, uh, Arti, Shashidhar, Nisha, and all the people. So if you don't understand what is an object and how we create an object, what are this part? If you're not able to explain this particular statement, how we are working on this? This question is not for the people who, for this training match. Uh, sorry, sir. He, the others, right? Yes, so what he said was correct. I was no. Um, what he said is sorry. absolutely wrong because he no, said no, that the STR, STR is a variable. He said yes, it is sir, a variable. It's, it's not a variable. Yes, he sir, said that wrong. it is a variable. Actually, no, it's an object. An object. That's yes, an sir, object. Yes. Object name. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, will help to. Allocate the memory. Allocate memory. And the yes, string sir. is constructor. And CH is the parameter. This is or, uh, overload. Okay, not overloaded. It's a uh, loaded with a parameter. Anyways, this, uh, guys, for you people, it is not really relevant because this will come in your next future classes. <sighs> okay. Okay. So actually, there are a lot of methods with this particular equals. I'll discuss about that one, equal, dot, compare. So a lot of other things are there. Now, can you tell me what you meant by this line number 20? What it will give you the output? S1 is equal to S2. So it will, it give will the compare two strings, yes. sir. What it they will, will check the order. content of the string, sir. Returns the boolean value false. Returns the boolean value. But now here, if you have been seen that S1 and S4, uh, line number uh, 22, okay, S1 equals to S4. What is the output for this? It will return the boolean value true. 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 Change uh, this particular uh, 19. Uh, book my show with a capital M. What it will returns now? False. It returns false. 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 It returns false. False. Execute the program. See, if you're given like this one, which one is true, which one is false, how you will understand? Always you need to give the string in before that when you're printing something. Go to line number 22. There you add particular string saying that comparison of a string. Give in double quotes. Colon space. Give space there. Yes. Hmm. Now why it is throwing error? Sir, because plus is not used. Plus huh? concatenation. Plus. We need to use plus after quotation. Before S1. Just add plus button. 
after quotation so you are concatenating both the thing right a string and this one you are concatenating so use the concatenator operator that is the reason you need to be prepared well for the operators at give plus after the quotation execute the program now Hmm. Scroll to the top. Scroll to the top. Go. Oh, yeah. Now you can see it. Comparison of the string. It is false. <clears throat> now what this concatenate do? So line number. Uh, okay. Anyways, both the things are there. Line number twenty-seven is there. Line number thirty is there. <clears throat> what is the output of for uh, line number twenty-eight, and what is the output of line number thirty? <clears throat> so twenty-seven and then thirty. Uh, for first. For line number twenty-seven and for line number thirty, it will be uh, one, yes. two, book my show. Ah, uh, Mintra. I didn't hear it properly. So what you are getting means your voice is choppy. So what I'll uh, be so getting? Uh huh. What twenty seven and then thirty. Sir, for twenty seven, ah, uh, we will get book my show, a uh, red bus, a uh, red bus, and for uh, line number thirty, ah, uh, we will get book my show, Mintra. What is the difference then for both, sir? In both cases, we are concat uh, concatenating, but uh, uh, for twenty-seven, we are using plus uh, I, uh, plus operator to concatenate, and in line number thirty, we are using the method concat dot concat. Um, just uh, um, add some same some string for printing that one, uh, Mahesh. For line number twenty-eight and then line number thirty-one, add that particular string, saying that this is with the plus concatenation with the concatenation method. So print and show the output. See, uh, because you should know where to use what. So you should, if you have been tried multiple times on this one, then you can understand what exact whether I need to use plus or whether I need to use concatenate. Always remember there would be hairline differences. But that hairline differences will change your logic. Hmm. Same copy there, and then paste it for line number thirty-one. Dude, is that the print statement? What you are doing, Mahesh? See it thoroughly. Yes, yes. Execute it. Go to the top. Hmm. Any differences? You are seeing it. Okay. So change that one to uh, in line number thirty. Change to S two. S one concatenate S two. Change that S three to S two. Line number thirty. Re-execute. Mm -hmm. 
you you need to print s6 only mm -hmm. there is not required okay ah. execute mm -hmm. ah you see any differences so what wherever you required either you can use the concatenate method or the plus symbol both will gives you the same output so the some for some methods will be having differences and some methods you can directly use them so whether you can use the operator or equal to where we use okay what is difference between equal to and double equal to so equality operator will use the it will read the ip ad, uh, address sir. and IP whereas address. when coming to equality for Sir, uh, double equality is the comparison. The okay, don't give me the group answers. One by one, you can raise your hands. But Monica, you are saying that equal to will give me the IP address. Uh, the address uh, store where we can store that value address. I think. And Anyone? equality function will use the data. Harita. Sir, it will compass two strings. When the two strings are equal, it gives a true value, sir, Boolean value. Which one? Which one, Amma? You are saying it for equal to or for double equal to? Equal to, sir. Uday Kumar? Sir, when we want to compare two strings, we use the equals method, sir. When we want to compare the two integer or double, we use the double equal to, sir. You are not un understanding the question, Uday. You are giving me the explanation for this equals, right? This equals, this equals, and double equal to. But I'm asking you, but I'm asking you the symbol in the operator symbol. Share, stop sharing the screen. See, my question is on this. So if I have um, Team, go on mute. What is the difference between this and what is the difference between this? Sir, first, first we are assigning the data, sir. Second, we are comparing, sir. Always you need to remember this. Here, when we given the single equal to, we are assigning the LHS value into RHS. This is what we do it, right? Yesterday, we yes. have been discussing about A equal to 10. Now, B equal yes, to sir. 20. Now, A equal to B. Now, if I print sys out A, what is the answer? 20. 10. 10, sir. 20. Sorry, 20. 20, sir. A is 20, sir. After a compare, after equal. 20, sir. 20. Always you remember, right? So yesterday also we seen the example, right? A equal to 10. A equal to 100. Yeah. Now if I print the SYSO, A, what it will print me? 10, sir. 10. Hundred. You guys Hundred. are really awesome. Hundred. Twenty, sir. Hundred. Twenty, sir. Twenty will it will print twenty. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hundred, sir. Okay. Hundred, sir. Hundred, sir. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. You relax. This is Q one, question one, and this is question two. Okay. You just type your answers. Don't give me the group answers here. Okay. In the chat box, you can type Q one what it will print. Q two what it will print.
fine so always you need to remember that this particular value yesterday i told you about the concept of jar so first i'll keep sugar then i'll change it into the salt so now that would be overload means that would be overridden that particular value if the first when we have been initializing this is a value now when it is overriding so this value has been overridden with the a so now here this will prints the for the question number 1 it will prints the 20 and for the question number 2 so here the value is overriding the same concept only here it is printing the 100 so 20 and 100 is the answer for this and this is pretty simple guys i don't need to explain this one at all right why you people are getting confused here see are saying that 10 it would be printed why 10 will be printed so when i am overloading with this particular value the overloaded value will be coming there why it will come with the old values it's pretty simple right for an example there is a movie theater so first movie you have been seen it as kushi second you have been seen the new movie there so still you will be seeing the kushi movie no right so this is like a container theater i change the movies whatever the movie there it will play that movie say starting of the theater it played this movie so that even now if i go and see the, that movie only the movie will be there no right <clears throat> okay so uh, what i wanted to see now for today's class i just wanted to get started with the data types because we have been yesterday only discussed from the point of uh, uh, for, uh, from the point of this one only uh from the variables only we stopped i wanted to go ahead with the data types but as it is a strings as seeing the code just i have been started asking you the questions however uh i think you will be having uh, the assessment for uh, today go prepare back prepare well and do your assessment monday i'll be coming back and then continuing on the topic where we have been stopped because i don't want to miss a single topic also i'll be continuing from the data types and everything and come back to the strings but what i wanted to do is i don't wanted to give you any exercise for today because you need to recap and prepare for your assessments point number 1 point number 2 still i am not seen the complete information from the java t point because there are lot of methods here i don't know why we did 